We are back again. Tebus here. We got the McFarlane Gold Label Collection and Batman Forever Batmobile. Comes with Alfred Pennyworth and good old uh, the good old Batmobile. And this one lights up and makes sound. So that's the first man because the other two, the White Knight uh, Batman, doesn't doesn't light up or make sounds. And then uh, the Michael Keaton Batman or the, from the Flash movie or whatever. Um, well, I guess it's still like the I still I still say it's the eighty nine Batmobile. Eh, same thing pretty much but uh yeah that doesn't make any lights or sounds or you know or has any lights or sound makes sounds so i should say and uh yeah uh this thing's came in a pretty big box they always kind of do but i feel like this one's a little bit bigger because it, because it comes with a figure um we'll explore the packaging a little bit and then get the sucker open and top of the box you have uh yeah fits most seven inch figures you got batman right in there that's cool the box it has instructions on an open cockpit and yeah pretty much yeah that, and then it has instructions for lights and sounds and pretty much it yeah that's pretty much that's it let's see press button let's see press button for a one time for a light and sound effects auto off once routine is complete press button again for light effects approximately 60 seconds auto off once routine is complete press button again to loop back to light and sound effects i don't know we're just going to match buttons so let's see, interrupt during either play mode, you can press the button at any time to stop. Immediately press the button again to start. Next mode in loop, in the loop, auto off once routine is complete. So there you go, okay, you got you got your instructions and it takes uh, three AAA batteries it looks like. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, three AAA batteries. I think. Oh wait, it takes seven. Oh man, it takes and four point five volts. Oof. We gotta got see if we have those laying around, man. I think I do in some other action figures. We'll just have to, I don't know, get kind of crafty and dig some stuff up. Maybe for some Mezco figures. Ah, I wish we'd have known. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, and it says uh, it's thirty one inches, thirty one and seventy eight seven point seven. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and bust it out. It is. Out. Uh, I got to get the batteries in it and stuff. It's got the huge fins, man. These fins are huge. One center fin. And then the two other tail fins, which are nicely packaged safely with cardboard, cardboard wrapped around them and stuff. So yeah, should really, really, really friggin' nice and safe. So that's cool. And then we have our ye old collectible trading card, which is also baggied right here. So there we go. Go ahead and read that real quick. Um, Alfred Pennyworth, every hero needs a right-hand man, and Alfred Pennyworth was precisely that for the Dark Knight of Gotham City, formerly Thomas and Martha Wayne's butler. Alfred stayed on at Wayne Manor after they were murdered during a mugging, serving as a guardian for their young son, Bruce. Alfred remained Batman's most loyal confidant, not only keeping Bruce's daily life on track, but also aiding the Dark Knight on his crime-busting missions from the safety of the Batcave. So there you go, man. And then also, like on the like Adam Adam West Batman, he he joined in on some capers, man. So yeah, there you go, freaking awesome. And so does his uh, family members as well. But yeah, got the little hockey puck stand, and then we have our Alfred Pennyworth figure. Our good old Alfred, just call him Alfred. We don't usually call him Alfred Pennyworth, but he's just Alfred. Uh, yeah, freaking movie figure. So here we go. That's awesome, man. Pretty decent detail, not bad at all. His coat's a little weird. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, yeah, he can, yeah, you pull that down a little bit. It's a little bit better if you pull it down. But there's a little gappy right there. His arms go out. Shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, double elbows, swivel and a hinge of the hands. Let's see, he's got a coat on, so yeah, it's gonna hinder a lot of stuff, but you can still twist his waist, so that's good. And let's see, almost do splitsies. He's got uh, double knees. He's got um, he's got his loafers, and even that little stretchy thing that I guess goes up on your socks, or I don't know, a little garter belt thing that goes under the, his, uh, his shoes. I see right there under under the sole, under the heel. That's freaking awesome. Nice detail on that. And you got a rocker pivot swivel and all that. And a toe joint. So there you go. Good old Alfred, man. Not bad. 
the white gloves and everything. That's freaking cool. That's freaking dope. Yeah, let's get this thing together and uh, hopefully we scrounge up some batteries and get the batteries going or else I'll have to make a trip to the store, which I don't want to. Oh yeah, they put also a little plastic nipple thing at the end of the, at the end of the car at the tail end. So that's, that's cool. Nice. Before we put on the fins and stuff, we gotta just take a closer look at the car itself. All that cool detail, translucent green. I guess it's like a greenish or aqua type blue or whatever. It might be more green, I guess, when the light kicks on. Looks kind of bluish to me. But yeah, there you go. The wheels. Looks like the wheels are gonna light up too. There's a bad emblem right there. You got rubber tires. There's the front of the car. Man, this thing is huge. This thing is freaking huge. There's headlights and everything and bumper. That's freaking awesome. Top view at the tail end. And the chassis underneath with another bad emblem underneath. And then the, the turbine right there. <laughs> that thing's freaking huge. Good God, this thing is this thing is huge. I already got this is like the third McFarland Batmobile. I don't have the tumbler. I wanted to get the tumbler, but I don't have it. But uh, yeah, these vehicles are insane. And I have the Lobo bike, but man, whew. I don't. I never got the big monster truck, the big uh, Bat Monster truck. But anyways, yeah, let's uh, get these fins on and get some batteries together and figure this thing out, man. Might as we'll do the cockpit. So yeah, there you go. There's a cockpit, slides out. And as you can see, there's some detail in there. There's some stickers and decals. That's freaking cool. That's freaking dope. It might be kind of hard to see in there, but I'll get as close as I can. So there you go. Seat and everything. That's awesome. That's awesome detail. Steering wheel and all that. That's freaking cool. Freaking dope. And then you just close it back. So there you go. And I think this is just the button for the lights. So you got a button for the cockpit and a button for the lights. And you slide that. Whoop. Need to snap back in. Fin. The center fin snaps in pretty easily. But man, this thing's huge. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> it takes up so much room. It's about to poke a good old trap jaw. Mondo trap jaw over here right in the eyeball. That's, um, <laughs> that's crazy. And then you just slide these in such and the same yeah i read the diagram wrong i don't need those little tiny little whatever little dime sized batteries it would you just you need three triple a's and that's it so we'll go ahead and fit our batman in we'll go ahead and slide him in good old val kilmer batman so we can get him in there all right there we go all right cool awesome yeah he fits pretty well dude so that's cool almost too well kind of makes sense though all right let me close it up. And I had to move a good old Mondo trap jaw. I might have to move all my Mondos at some point, find a new home for them. Because, um, yeah, they, they, well, I don't always review stuff this size, but, man, this thing takes up some space. Look at those fins. That's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. But we'll go ahead and, um, and just switch sides. And then we're also going to do uh, size comparisons. I'll have to do it in the other room because, yeah, I can't fit all those Batmobiles in one area. Yeah, we, we've stretched it as far as it'll go, man. <laughs> But yeah, let's go ahead and light this thing up. Oh, that's freaking dope. We'll have to also go in the bathroom and uh, <laughs> my filthy bathroom and uh, get this thing going. That's freaking cool. The lights are awesome. That's freaking dope. That's freaking cool. Yeah, it's kind of a greenish blue if you look. And then the tires light up. That's freaking awesome. That is really cool. That is really neat, man. Really freaking neat. Let's see, and then. That's awesome. And then. That just stops it.
So I guess, yeah, it goes for like 60 seconds, like it says. Okay. Because you can just press any button. So that just lights it up, and you press it down on this section right here, that just lights it up. And then, well, that. And then you press it again, and yeah. Okay. One time for light, auto off on once the routine is complete. Press button for lights and effects. So yeah, yeah, pretty, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And I guess we'll go ahead and um, go to my filthy bathroom and uh, see this thing in the dark, in like full, full on darkness. I'm gonna try this one more time, get it right. But yeah, it's feeling the darkness for there we go. The lights are on. That's what it looks like from above. That's freaking cool. And then press it a second time. Wait. That's freaking awesome. They're all my, all three of my Batmobiles together. So there you go. That is freaking cool, dude. They're huge. They're huge either way, man. That's that's a lot of it's a lot of Batmobile for one for one time. Thing I wanted to bring up is they shipped this thing really fast. I, I didn't know it was gonna come out so fast. So yeah, you got this shipping. You got the Jonah Hex and the horse uh, on its way. I might get mine tomorrow. And then you have the um. There's a wave with uh that had the what was it the Adam West Batman and the Superman Batman morph uh, figure together. And there was a third figure in that wave, but anyways, I forget. But yeah, that's that's coming tomorrow too. So yeah, like they shipped a lot of stuff recently, a lot, a lot of stuff. Anyways, this thing's amazing. It's cool. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Freaking yeah, man. Yeah, it's, it's just the fins. The fins really do it. <laughs> and I think they come out too. I think you can. Yeah, you can take them in and out. So that's cool. So for like storage sake or shipping, you know, if you got to move or something like that. Makes sense. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching. I'll have a good one. All right, later.